Hey guys, welcome back to Tech It Classic Adventure. This is the 15th episode. Today, what I've got planned is to build some power tools. Some electric tools, such as an electric wrench, an electric tree tap, and so on and so on. So, um, I want to get started as quickly as possible so that this episode does not run over on time like many other episodes do. First thing I want to make is an electric wrench. Which, by the way, has a 100% chance not to break machines. Is that not... Okay, everyone, take a moment. Electric hoe. I don't really think that should exist. Anyways, we're going to be making these two right here. Uh, the uh, we'll think about that. Anyways... I want to make a jetpack in the very near future as well. That will be really cool. Alright, so really all we need is our original wrench. I don't know if we need to have a perfect one, but if we do, I can put it in the talisman and we'll get that solved. In fact, while we do that, let's go over to talisman now and throw that in there so it will slowly repair itself. In the meantime, let's try and make some stuff that's too much you think that's gonna be too much <laughs> alright I need to make a battery so I need to go ahead and get this stuff smelted uh... in the meantime we are also going to need bronze well electric I don't know if we'll need bronze for the tree tap because the tree oh you're killing me alright the tree tap okay no bronze is needed for that it's just a normal tree tap as well I was thinking okay and these will be these will basically be power tools. Um, Alright. So let's make our electronic circuit. We can do that, right? Alright. There's... Oh my gosh. Well, um, crap, <laughs> okay, I can't remember what the other, it was a battery, wasn't it? I just lost myself right there because I accidentally tabbed out and I'm not sure if the footage was stopped or not. Alright, we still have some tin left, we need to get some of this stuff back oh I think I've already done it wrong here alright are you guys ready to what that was strange okay let's try this well, actually I don't have Alright, we have the RE battery and the wrench, and now we need something else. I can't remember what it was. Something we made. It was the circuit. I dropped it. Alright. We now have an electric wrench that isn't charged, but how we charge it is we put it in here somewhere, and it uses our power to charge it up, and that takes... About 12,000 out of our power storage to charge us up. But, the thing is, we no longer will break our machines and solar panels when we use the wrench. Alright, so that's powered up. This can't break either. Like, this will never break. It'll The charge on it will just go down and we'll have to recharge it later. <sighs> Alright, let's make an electric tree tap now. Um... Let me go see if I can't find an original tree tap that we had. 
I believe we had one in the uh, house somewhere. I, I don't. I think this is like my first time leaving the factory in quite a few episodes, and coming back here. I may need to make a new floor. Actually, in the other in the factory, so I don't have to come over here for in, for this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the middle, and I'm gonna turn this into a library later on because I can fit a bunch of bookshelves and stuff. Here's our uh, completely like obsolete farm. Uh, um. I'm gonna throw that in here and let that repair itself. In the meantime, let's get another battery made and another electronic circuit, which we're gonna need more cables for. Uh, okay, we are like running out of rubber. Wait, okay. Uh, there <laughs> a couple pieces of coal alright there's some more rubber we just had to wait a minute alright I'm excited I don't have any machines I really want to like wrench right now but <laughs> I am gonna go Oh, a tree tap that never breaks is a, is a really exciting thought. <laughs> Am I alone in that thought? Alright. Alright. Alright, boom. And we need to go get a tree tap out. Just like that. We have an electric tree tap. That's about to take 12,000 more of our power out. Actually, that didn't take as much out. It must not be as strong. Actually, I think it did. It took about 8,000 out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now have power tools. And, uh, if I was going to go really special, I would go with that electric hoe. But I don't know, I don't know why you'd want an electric hoe. I'm just, I'm throwing that out there right now. We will not need a hoe, so I'm just gonna, we probably won't need a tree tap either, because I'll, I'll keep <laughs> the resin I keep using in the condenser over here. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is take all this stuff out. Oh, I've got a spinning mouse right now. I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here because uh, we're not using it right now or anymore. We're gonna start a new project later so I don't want to keep all that stuff in there. Also I need to get things sorted again here so bear with me. Uh, there's those ingots. Alright also this episode and kind of in over the course of the next little bit I'm going to smelt all these ores I have up here that I haven't smelted yet. Don't worry I have a reason for not having smelted those yet. Okay. I'm going to smelt them. I don't know how safe I feel smelting them right now at night time when I'm not gaining any power. Ugh, okay. Bad idea. But I have them now and I'm going to smelt them. Uh, I don't want a pressure plate. I'm going to sacrifice that to the resin cause. There's a piece of glass keep that in case I need to make more without having to go gather it. I need a crap chest. Is there a crap chest around here? <laughs> so for now I'm going to put the electric tree tap in here but um, I'm, I made those just because why not? Why not have tools that are not breakable? If we ever need to use them they'll be right here and that's you know that's interesting. Uh, most of the things we'll make from here on out will be unbreakable. They'll just have to recharge using our power instead but for now I'm gonna leave them in here if we need them uh, don't make me don't let me forget we made an entire episode off this stuff and then didn't use it again uh... okay just 
for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw my tools back in here and have them repaired, except for the shovel. Oh, that one's repaired. Uh, that's the thing, you know. Make sure you have some good enchantments because if you have good enchantments, you can keep this stuff forever. You don't really need unbreaking or whatever it's called. One of our uh, coming upcoming projects, I'm going to make a get power uh, from sources other than a solar panel. That way, I can have some power flow at night. And if we decide to use this stuff at night, we can without having to worry too much. Alright, so organization is lacking a little. I'm going to. I'm keeping. I'm trying to keep one of everything, so I never have to go look for it or gather it anymore. Um, uh, I'd like to go. Maybe. S oh, oh, wait a minute. I know what we can do. We can make a mining drill. Oh, a diamond drill. That must be much better. What is this? Okay. See, this is doable. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's make a mining drill. We're going to need some of the stuff smelted. I'm going to go with... Uh, we'll start with that. Get the engines going and they'll pump out uh, the stuff through the pipes and it'll get there. That two I put in is going to be equivalent to four ingots to get in there. I would do more, but I don't want to run the power down at night. So I guess what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to be inefficient with my copper because I need it right now. Okay. I put the refined iron in here, did I? The bad tailor. Bad. Doesn't go in there. Alright. I need a few more cables. I'm going to go get some quick copper right now because I need it. So you can get, you can make uninsulated wires that don't have rubber but you'll get shocked very easily by it and so that's, that's you don't want to risk that and when it shocks it has a chance to explode it can even kill you it, or it can destroy the machines around it so you just want to be as safe as, you, as as possible and for me clearly that's I've had some problems there <laughs> so alright so we are making a, an RE battery so I need 10 as well I really need to get some of that stuff smelted. But I do have a 10 stash over here. Of three. Wonderful. Here. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. There's just a stack of 10. A little over a stack, actually. Alright. There's a, an RE battery. Uh, let's make a circuit. We have the required things. And now I believe we just need a... What do we need now? I, I, I forget the last component. Was it a pickaxe? Okay, no, it's just... We've already got everything. Just some more refined iron. Alright. Was it this? Yes, it was. Alright, let's go charge up our last power tool. Oh, it's going to kill our power. Oh, it's really going to shoot it down. Alright, we have 11,000 power left out of 40,000 we started with. This. I don't know if we actually have... Did we have 40,000 at the start of this episode? I'm not sure. Anyways, if it were daytime, I would go outside and... Oh, look, it's about to be... Ah. Oh. Alright, next time I may demonstrate our power tools, um, but for now I'm going to reorganize here and call it an episode. I'm going to put this back. I swear we'll get to that at some point. I'm going to smelt that stuff. Ah! Ah! 
Come on. It, it, no. It blew up the alchemical chest. Uh, well, I'll see you guys next time. I'll repair it off camera, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.